the easiest, simplest thing I believe we should all be doing for each other. Hey my love, it's Magda Kay. I'm an intimacy expert and the founder of the School of Intimacy and welcome to my channel where we discuss everything related to great relationships, self-love and sexuality. So I wanna tell you a little story. Now it's gonna be about 10 years ago, so quite a long time ago, I attended this magical workshop. It was part of AFES. Now, you may be familiar with AFES. These are parties organized by Mind Valley, and I used to work for Mind Valley. So back then, I attended one of their seminars, AFES, and we had the workshop run by Lisa Nichols, who's absolutely amazing. Um, and we did the practice that stayed with me until today. So we were split into small groups of four or five people, and we were asked to write down the most common negative thing that we keep hearing in our mind. So each one of us wrote this thing down, then we were asked to flip it around, so reframe it into the opposite, the positive state. And then what we did for each other is that one person sat in the middle, and then we were whispering for about five, 10 minutes into their ears the opposite, the positive affirmation. And that exercise was magical. I cried. It was my really introduction into like the whole belief reprogramming system. But the reason why I remember this workshop so deeply until today, like 10 years ago, is because in my group, there was a girl, my friend and my colleague from Mind Valley. And her negative talk, the most common thing that she heard in her own mind was that she's not appreciated. So for those five, 10 minutes, we were whispering into her ear, you are appreciated. And it really opened my mind to understand that everyone has insecurities. People next to us, around us, our friends, our colleagues, they have these insecurities. I had no idea that this is how she felt. Then I realized that it takes absolutely zero effort for me just to add that sentence when I send her an email and saying, hey, thank you so much for doing this. Wow, I really appreciate your effort. Like it takes so little from me to help her feel better. And I was thinking about it a lot after this workshop, right? Cause like, I would have never guessed that about her. So then I thought, how many other people in my life have this very negative self-talk? And I would never guess what it is because we just don't communicate it to each other. And so this is when I decided that I want to be giving people compliments because compliments take so little from us, the giver, and they do so much for the receiver. The thing is, every single human being has some negative self-talk, has this inner critic that keeps telling us, you're not good enough, you're not pretty enough. No, this will never succeed. They will make fun of you. And you know, standing up to that inner voice by ourselves is not always easy. We've all tried and at some point we fail. It's like kinda, it's like stretching the muscle. It's like willpower, right? We're gonna be like, okay, today I'm gonna believe in myself and I'm not gonna believe in that voice. And then another thing happens and another thing happens and we give away power to that inner critic. So in those moments, if you have someone outside of you reminding you that, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, you're amazing. It's like they kind of join you, right? Now it's a squad of, of two people and it's two people standing up to this inner voice. So it becomes more real. It's like we get to borrow this power from another person and really stand up to our own critic, right? To our own inner enemy and demon and say, no, I'm not gonna believe all those negative things that you keep telling me. Now, Ever since then, I have literally made it a point to give people compliments. That is for men and women, people I know, my close friends, my family, my lovers, but also strangers. Now, of course, you don't wanna be a creep, but I trust that you have enough social skills to be able to tell a stranger a compliment without making them feel awkward. Now, 
this is where I actually differ from a lot of like Tantra teachers and sexuality coaches because actually a lot of people believe that giving others, especially strangers, a compliment is inappropriate. So I remember, um, you know, a few years ago when we had the Me Too movement and a lot of people were speaking up about how unintentionally we can really cross someone's boundaries. And on Facebook, I saw a post from this pretty big Tantra teacher, a woman, and the post said why it's not okay to tell a stranger woman that she is beautiful. And I remember reading this and thinking, oh my God, no, please do tell her she's beautiful. Like you guys have no idea. Like she probably doesn't hear it enough. She trusts me. She for sure questions herself as well. Give people compliments because it takes minimum effort from you to help someone feel better about themselves. So like I said, I actually really make it a point to do it. And when I like find someone attractive, I will tell them. Now there is a difference between telling someone, hey, I think you're attractive and wanting something from them versus just giving a compliment. So I tell people, hey, I think you're attractive. And that has like nothing to do with whether I would like to go out with them or not. It's just like, this is for you. I'm telling you that I think you're attractive because from my experience, I know that you probably haven't heard it often enough and you probably don't fully believe that. So I want to give you a little story. This is something that happened um, not very long ago. I met with someone and I actually found this person very attractive. I was quite infatuated by him, but our interaction just kind of get me thinking like he just does not even look at me as a woman. <laughs> we were talking about business. Um, and I just kind of, as a woman, I felt absolutely invisible. And right after this meeting, I felt kind of down and I just called my, my girlfriend and I said, listen, in this moment, I feel like I'm not pretty. And I was literally asking her, am I not pretty? <laughs> because that's how I, I was feeling after this meeting. And my friend said like, no, Magda, you're gorgeous. You're beautiful. Probably this is what happened, etc." But the thing is that most of the time I do think I'm pretty and I like myself, but I will still have moments when I question this, right? When this inner critic comes in and like sabotages everything else and having someone else remind me, hey, you're worthy, you're attractive, you're smart, you're capable. It's just powerful. It's so powerful. It really makes a difference. So what my friend did for me made a difference. Within like 15 minutes of conversation, I felt great again. And it took so little from her to do so much for me. So my love, on the note of giving compliments, I want to give a compliment to you because I really, really value that you are here. It means so much to me that you're choosing to watch my videos, that today you chose to click on this video, watch it and watch it until the end. Thank you for all the likes, for all the comments, for all the support. I see this and I so appreciate it. You are amazing. And something I always say about people who interact with me and follow me on various social media is that you're not an average person. Like majority of people literally don't do anything about their intimate life. They're just going to let it happen. But you are someone who takes action and that makes a huge difference. And I want you to take this magic with you. And my little invitation for you is to give three people a compliment. Today, three people, right? A compliment. Now, this may be a stranger, this may be your partner, and this also may be yourself. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about giving compliments and especially what do you think about giving compliments to strangers? Opposite sex, telling someone you think they're attractive, yes or no? So comment below, let's have this conversation. And if you did like this video, please give it a like. And if you would like to watch more videos like that, make sure to subscribe to my channel, click the little bell icon to get notified when a new video comes out. And also I would love to connect with you over at Instagram where I share practically every day. So this is the best place to connect with me on a more personal level. Thank you so much for being here. 
you're amazing. And I hope to see you soon. Bye, love.